Hey everybody and welcome to Vintage Vera. We are so excited this year to be celebrating the 35th anniversary of the company. All right, so let's open up the book that's all about the history of Vera Vera. So in 1984, I was brand new in Augusta, Georgia. I had come from Cartersville, Georgia, where I had done a little bit of catering in my home as my boys were really babies and so I could get a lot done while they were taking a nap. But Joe Frank Harris had just been uh, elected governor of the state of Georgia, and he was from Cartersville. He was one of my catering customers, and he invited me to do the luncheon for Inauguration Day. And honestly, that was what put me on the map. I realized then that I could do it. Um, I could do it for a crowd. And so by the time it was time to move to Augusta, Georgia, I really had my catering roots established. So at that point, Things like Sacred Heart Cultural Center, the old medical college building, um, the old government house, the Marion Hatcher Center, all of these different venues in town were springing up because people wanted to do beautiful properties for events. And I was the caterer in town, so I did all of those grand openings and many beautiful special events in all of those locations. In 1986, I made the front page of the food section which was a, a toast to women in business. And I was so excited to be considered, you know, a prominent business person when I really didn't kind of think of myself as that at that point. So I was really happy about that. And then in 1986, I was featured in the Augusta Magazine on the cover with two other very prominent business people in town. And that, again, emphasized the fact that I was a serious business person and that I had created this industry out of my home kitchen. Um, in 1992, I thought, I need to come up with a way to make money even if there isn't a catered event. So that's where the first ideas of the mail order division of my company came into play, of us thinking of something that we could put in the mail. So it was a pound cake. It was my grandmother's pound cake recipe. We tested it for about a year, and then by 1993, I was ready to ship the first cake. I put together a catalog that didn't even have pictures, and I used names of people that I knew all over the Southeast to create the perfect mailing list. All right, so that's kind of the first chapter, and every other week I'll be giving you more information on the company. So stay tuned with us every other week for Vintage Vera to learn more about how very Vera got started. Mm -hmm.